Happy Monday everyone, welcome. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Today we're gonna to talk about how we can create powerful and profitable Amazon PPC campaigns for our listing. Now, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe below, hit the bell button. This channel is not to brag about my successes, but it's to provide you guys value and information so you can build your own powerful and profitable Amazon FBA businesses. So that's it guys, let's get right into it and I'm gonna show you guys some really neat tricks. All right guys, welcome back. Now, uh, like I said, we're gonna create this powerful PPC campaign that is gonna take data from um, databases that people actually search for. So what we wanna do is find keywords that are like with the highest search volume for our product. And I'm gonna show you guys how to find those keywords and we're gonna use the top 100 because that's what Amazon really uses. It doesn't use anything more than that. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna show you guys two ways. One of them which I'm gonna use. The second way is, a, is an option, but um, I'm gonna walk you guys through it, but I'm not gonna use the keywords from that just because it's a little bit broad. It's not that targeted and I like to get very targeted with these things. So let's start. So the first thing we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna search for keywords that I use. So uh, like if you guys remember, I was searching for baby dolls and what I wanna do is search at least three lists around the baby doll category. So what we're gonna do is go to Merchant Words uh, and I've shown you guys uh, how to get a subscription for this. There's a link in the description which is gonna give you guys uh, over 70% 70, uh, 70 off on this product. So you're only getting it for $9 a month. It's very powerful. I highly suggest you guys use this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log in to Merchant Words and I am gonna search for three categories um, that revolves around my product. So I know I'm selling a baby doll. So that's the first one I'm going to search. So baby doll is the first category I'm going to search. All right, so let's see what comes up. All right, all right, here you go. So you guys can see that uh, we have a high uh, search volume for a lot of these, like baby doll is searched over a million and 73,000 times in a month. So these are monthly search volumes, keep that in mind. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, basically download that in a CSV, okay? You guys see it's right here. Now the second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna search another keyword that revolves around that. So baby doll is also a toy. So what I'm gonna do is search for baby toys. All right, toys. Just because I know that category, like people search uh, dolls and stuff in that category as well. So I'm gonna get that as well. So let's, you guys can see that baby toys are searched over 1.2 million times and then you have different variations of it. So I'm gonna download that in a CSV as well. It's right here, so we're gonna save that for now. And then I like to do one more thing. Um, I would like to do toys. Notice you guys see like that it's, it all revolves around the word toys or doll and stuff like that. So you want to be broad enough but not too broad that it gets out of the category. Like I'm not going to search for like a baby bottle when I'm searching for a toy. Uh, I hope that clarifies it for you guys. So I'm going to, the next thing I'm going to search is toys. Okay, because that falls under the category and um, I want to see what kind of keywords show up under that as well. So, and we're going to compile this into a master list. Uh, so you have dog toys, car toys. Um, so let's, you know what, let's not use toys. Let's use, um, hmm, so let's say toys. Let's do baby girl toys. So, so we know a doll is mostly for a girl. So let's see, baby girl toys, okay. Toys for baby girls. Okay, not too many, not too many keywords. All right, so let me think of another category I could search for. Let's just do dolls, actually. Let's just do instead of, um, making it too complicated doll let's see what comes up 
And the point is to get the kind of keywords that you know people will search for and they will be able to find your products. So here you go guys. So this is good because doll kind of covers the whole thing. So let's turn that into a CSV as well. Where did my CSV link go? What did I do here? Oh, here. All right. Sorry guys, I kind of got mesmerized for a second. All right, so we got all three lists in the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go open, show them all in folder. So you'll see these are my three lists, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up each one, okay? Open with Excel. All right, once one opens, I'm gonna open the next one. Open that with Excel as well. Okay, you'll notice that I have another file open because that's gonna be our master list. And let's go, that's one of my products expiring. Okay, let's open the third one as well. All right, so, okay. So, let's compile everything into our master list. So I've opened up here a master list let's go file I want a brand new document blank create okay perfect so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take data from everywhere so I'm gonna just go let's see how many keywords 250 here control C and then I'm gonna go to my master list and paste that okay gotta go to second file I'm just getting the keywords not the titles anymore 251 here too so I just want to make sure okay okay I'm just gonna paste that in the bottom all right and then we're gonna go to the bottom of this and we're gonna paste our third list which is right here just getting the keywords guys not the titles Okay, 251, all right. So, I'm gonna paste it here. All right, so now this is our master list of basically 750 keywords uh, that we can rank for. So, um, what I would like to do is next, is we don't need the seasonality or evergreen, so let's remove that so we don't, um, we don't get confused with this. So these are your monthly search volumes. Let me change the title so that it's easier to explain. Monthly search volume. So what that means is that specific keyword has been searched this many times in one month. And that's why Merchant Verse is so powerful. So uh, I'm gonna do a filter on this quickly. All right, I don't need these two, okay. so. What we want to do now is rank the keywords. So first of all, let's actually remove duplicates because that's really important. So let me, what we're going to do is quickly go over. There is a faster way to do it. Where is it? Data, 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 remove duplicates. Okay. So from which column you want to remove, you want to remove from the phrase. So let's remove duplicates, okay. 27 duplicates were found and removed, okay? So our duplicates are gone. Reason you don't wanna leave duplicates because Amazon is not gonna search your duplicate word. Like it's just a waste of space basically. And Amazon only, only really looks at your first 100 keywords when it's ranking, sorry, um, um, when it's ranking your product with their PPC campaign. So you don't wanna go over 100 and uh, basically having duplicates in there, those 27 could potentially be other keywords that we could rank for. So that's why we remove duplicates, okay? So now what we're gonna do is you are gonna take, I'm gonna highlight the first 100 keyword. No, sorry, missed a step. So now we're gonna filter this from largest to smallest based on monthly search volume, all right? And now you'll see that these keywords are the top search keywords in those categories. That's why it's so powerful. So I'm just gonna highlight the first 100 because that's all we really need, okay? Let's just go and highlight that so we know what we're using. So these are the keywords that we're gonna use for our PPC campaign. Now, there is another way to get um, keywords for your PPC campaign too. Uh, let me go over it quickly. 
just so you guys know it's an option but I'm not gonna use those keywords okay and I'll tell you guys why after so what you do is basically find the product that you're looking for so I searched the toy that I was gonna sell um, and um, but what I want to do now is find out what keywords are being used with this listing in its in that listings PPC campaign that is ranking for okay sounds sounds really good at first right it is really good and if you want to get that really that targeted so now what you're gonna do is so how can you see the keywords there is a product called keyword inspector okay and it's a subscription based tool right here it is all right so I'm just gonna load that up let's go back to our Amazon so what the way we can find out what the keywords that this product is ranking for is is to find the ASIN number ASIN number so ASIN number really starts with B00 and then the numbers after it so right here on top in the search or sorry in the um, um, I'm forgetting the word but like in the address bar so what we're gonna do is copy that so I'm just gonna do control C we go to keyword inspector and we're gonna click on reverse ASIN search so that's how you can reverse it and by ASIN you can actually find out what keywords are being used with that listing reason I chose that listing is because it was the number one organically searched um, organically searched listing on Amazon which means that it was not sponsored for some reason Amazon thought that this seller should be number one um, it probably is not doing any uh, sponsored basically like PPC campaigns or anything like that so there is something that he's doing right or he she whoever the seller is and that's why we wanted to look into that so what you do is get current keyword count for ASIN so you can do that here or I'm just gonna type in the ASIN number here and then you just kind of name your group and if you have the subscription it basically asks you to submit and then it will open up a CSV for you with all specific keywords that are used for this specific listing in the background okay so it'll populate all the keywords that are used for this listing now the reason I don't like to do this is because what about if I search baby doll again right so of course this is one of the top ones but what about the rest of the products like you know like um, if I want to do it this way I would like to do at least the first 10 or 15 um, products uh, to see how they're ranking get their keywords and then um, sort it based on their search volume just like we did with Merchant Words but it's a little bit more uh, labor-intensive and it's um, I, I think it kind of gets lost in translation so that's why I don't want to do that I just want to stick to Merchant Words because they gave me that specific data anyways so why would I go back and kind of duplicate my efforts right so let's forget about that but that's another way that you can actually search for keywords as well so um, now with our merchant words we've created a list this is our master list and you're gonna copy and you're gonna go to your Amazon seller account and the create a PPC campaign okay so let me just take a look at this quick okay all right so those are the words let me just see what kind of words are there all right so you copy that and then you go to your Amazon sellers account and you create a campaign you'll title it basically um, based on the name of the product you're selling and you are gonna set your daily budget for hundred dollars and plus the reason we do hundred dollars and plus and you may not use your entire hundred dollars per day is because we want to let Amazon know that we're serious about this and we really want to spend the money now it's just a way to trick Amazon you'll never use your hundred dollars completely but it kind of gives you priority with Amazon's PPC campaigns so it says okay I can Amazon is basically trying to make money too right so what they're gonna do is say okay I can make more money from this listing because uh, it's providing me more PPC campaign dollars so let me push that ahead of other people so that's how you can trick the Amazon's algorithm to, in, to thinking that you're gonna actually pay more for uh, your advertising so therefore you should have priority or prefer, prefer or to be a preferred client so that's why we push it to um, hundred dollars and you always want to make sure you choose manual targeting why 
because we don't want to do automatic campaigns automatic campaigns chooses words based on what Amazon recommends we have already done the backend search and we've chosen our hundred words or phrases right here that we're gonna use for our PPC campaign so that's why we do manual targeting and then there are three things that um, uh, you can choose when you're actually putting your manual targeting how would you like these words to be searched or how would you like these words to be connected according to the search volume that you'll get on your Amazon listing the first one is broad broad really means like um, if somebody searches let's say um, um, Star Wars memorabilia memorabilia <laughs> I can't even pronounce that word and then um, it will also pop up your listing if somebody searches for Kyle Loren or um, Han Solo you know what I mean like it's a little bit broad so it's a little bit vague but you want to get a little bit targeting the second option is phrase phrase is basically um, it uses phrases so if your phrases um, let's choose one of these like baby toys right this is one of your phrases so it could be um, large baby toys or it could be like a red baby toy or baby toy doll you know what I mean so as long as your keywords are within that phrase it is gonna uh, is gonna basically pop up your listing for that buyer uh, so they can click on it so that's why we always always want to make sure we choose phrase just because not only it will use our keywords it will also do a variation it will also pop up our listing based on the variations that people search the third one is exact we never want to do exact because nobody really knows if these keywords will be exactly searched the same way again you know what I mean even though the search volume is there we know that but we want to make sure we have a little bit of wiggle room in case somebody makes a spelling mistake or in case somebody adds a second word to it or a third word to it we still want to be we still want to make sure we appear on their search so that's why we always go with phrase all right so let me just make sure I don't forget anything else so again we take the first hundred keywords and we set uh, our default bid to 75 I mean the Amazon recommends to 75 cents but I always like to go dollar 50 again we're trying to trick the Amazon algorithm thinking that we're gonna be a high roller and therefore you should push our product or our listing uh, higher in the ranking and that's how you do it like you just kind of trick the Amazon algorithm so always always put it to 150 and choose all keywords and apply suggested bids to all of them so if you're doing 150 per keyword make sure you apply it to the entire list and then increase it by three percent why we do that because we want to be ahead of our competition if our competition is doing a dollar fifty or whatever amazon is suggesting the highest is we want to be a little bit tad above it so that we are ahead of our competition you see guys they, these little things can make a huge difference in your PPC campaign so that's it guys and um, from there on always uh, take a look at your analytics see what's working what's not working and go from there and modify things from there I hope this really helped you guys I know it's a powerful technique I know there's a lot of things to watch for uh, and that's why if you are forgetting something drop your comment below Ask me if you have any specific questions about PPC campaigns and I'll be happy to help you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. It is Friday today. I'm going to get back to you guys tomorrow and the day after with my live streams in the morning and evening. Uh, but uh, if you have any specific questions before that, be sure to drop it in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer you guys. So just reminding you one last thing to subscribe to my channel. Let me know how things are going. Let me know how your Amazon business is doing and let me know if you need any help. Um, like this video if you haven't already done so and that's it. Thank you so much guys. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.